Welcome back. Today we're germinating spores using agar. Let's get right into it. To germinate spores on agar, we're going to need a few things. Chief among these are agar petri dishes. Now some like to mix up their own agar. Deprave420 demonstrates this recently in an excellent video of his. The link's in the description. But for convenience, today I'm using these petri dishes that I've ordered online. These plates have been treated with additives and nutrition that's perfect for germinating spores and propagating culture. You can see these additives on your screen right now. We're also going to need a spore print. I have a lovely print here from a favourite medicinal species that I'll be using during today's procedure. Look at that, you can really see the gill structure in the pattern of the spore print through the glass. We're also going to use some sterile cotton swabs to pick up and apply the spores to the agar as well as some parafilm to seal the petri dishes once they're inoculated, though grafting tape works just as well. Okay, first we want to sterilise all surfaces we'll be in contact with. This includes gloves, the petri dishes, the spores, uh, the work surface as well. We're wiping them down with a 70% isopropyl alcohol solution, and this sterilises things quite nicely. Now, even though I am using a fan filter unit, this procedure can be done inside of a correctly prepared steel airbox. Okay, now that my spore print is open, it's simply a matter of taking the swab and picking up some spores. I'm probably picking up far too many here, but that's okay. I'm working top to bottom here so you can better see what I'm doing. Gently applying spores to each petri dish. Being careful to have each dish open as little as necessary. And being extra careful not to put a big fat finger right inside your lovely sterile plates. Also, you kind of want to be aware of your arm movements and not have anything that should remain sterile uh, under your arm, having your arm travel across the top that can cause unnecessary contamination now or later on down the line with your spore print and before you know it you've got plates ready to be sealed and incubated beautiful Unfortunately, when sealing my petri dishes, I sealed them off camera and you couldn't really see what I was doing. So I have here a contaminated plate from an earlier batch that I've opened, and I'm going to reseal it in this here traumatic reenactment. So once the plates are inoculated and the lids are placed on top, I will then cut however many strips of parafilm I need to cover each plate. Once ready to seal the plates, I'll then open up and fold the parafilm over itself making a double layer before using a finger to hold it in place against the petri dish, stretching it around to cover the circumference of the dish. Now the double fold is important as the parafilm can sometimes tear, especially in colder temperatures. Indeed, that's how this plate itself contaminated, a single layer tore, allowing unwanted organisms inside. All right, with your plate sealed and incubating in a warm environment, Let's check in on them after about seven days. And here we can see a bunch of germination points. Fantastic. Look at them all. Exactly what we're after. Now let's see how they look after about two weeks. And my goodness, they're really starting to take off. You can see each individual colony is expanding outwards and meeting up with some of the other colonies there. I'm really excited to isolate some of these different cultures and get them into some grains and fruits and mushrooms. Fantastic. And there you have it, germinating spores on agar. 
Now, just while you watch me destroy a spore print on the screen with some alcohol, I just want to say a huge thanks to you if you've made it this far in the video. Uh, if you're new here, please don't hesitate to hit the like and subscribe button. Your support really does help me out. All right, with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll catch you later. Legends.